Hey, hey, what you say? Welcome, welcome. It's a brand new day. I got all of these items on Amazon. Hey, 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 welcome, welcome, and thank you for stopping by. So right now, this is just a, I'm gonna prepare this rub for the, the baby back ribs slow cooker. Um, I've never done this before. I got this off of, oh my goodness, I just forgot the name of the, it's called slow cooker recipes. I'll put that down in the link, but this is some paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, um, mustard, brown mustard, and black pepper rub. So I've already put it all together um, and I'm just gonna rub it on here, leave it on here for two nights, and then I will be back um, you know, I just want to show you guys how to rub it on there. This is all an experiment. I've never done this before. Made a rub and put it on it. So I'm just going to rub it all over this meat. And I'm, I already took the membrane off of here as instructed to do. And I'll be back when I'm ready to put it in a cooker. Hello, hello, good afternoon, good evening, welcome, welcome, and thank you for joining me on another quick video, How Did Mom Cook It? Today, as you see in the title, I'm gonna be trying a new recipe, for me that is. It's the secret to crock pot ribs. Now, I've already marinated these ribs with a dry rub. Um, so, and I marinated them with some paprika, salt, black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and ground mustard. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead, because my brother is a, great cook he told me that i can go ahead and put the mustard on so i'm just going to rub some mustard on it and then i'm going to do the rest the recipe just as instructed so how are you guys i hope you're having a great day mustard is the key to a good marinated meat and i love to marinate my meat but i forgot i didn't really forget to put the uh, mustard on it but because it was a dry rub, trying something new caused me to pause. So, I'm putting the mustard. Let's move this to the side so you can see. Oh, and this recipe is by, you know what? I don't remember the name of the company. And I'm looking at the paper, but I don't see the website. So, that's okay. I'll leave it in the description below. So, just rubbing this in real good. These were marinated with the seasonings or the rub for about three days hope you guys are having a great day so now i'm just going to place these in the crock pot and then i'm going to add the barbecue sauce you know what i'm gonna do yeah i just don't want to get mustard on everything hi charles you. God bless you too. So I'm gonna move that to the side. Have you guys ever cooked your ribs in a slow cooker? I'm gonna cook them for about eight hours. My daughter was supposed to be here with me, but when she say mama I'm coming, that means she'll be in about two hours. So I gotta get started so that I won't have, wait a minute, I gotta get a fork or something. I'm just going to spread it on with this for now. And these are supposed to cook per 8 to 10 hours according to how many ribs you put in there. And I'm just going to put, this is just two, oh, these are baby back ribs, by the way. In case you didn't know, I pulled the membrane off. Did you know that you could pull the membrane off and it makes your meat tender as well? Because you took that little piece of fat off. Okay, so I'm just gonna squirt that all over. I love, love, love barbecue sauce. So I'm cooking it on low for the eight hours. I think that's plenty enough in there. I hope you guys can see inside. Well, you know what it looks like inside a crock pot. I'm gonna cook some pork and beans on the side, put a few sausages in them, beef that is, and some rice on the side. and. I was gonna do some candy yams, some macaroni and cheese, but I had enough carbs this week. So it's time for protein with a little bit of starch. 
So I'm gonna put the top on, let it cook for eight to 10 hours. I may cook it for 10, but I think eight hours will be just enough time. So guys, one quick question. Will you subscribe to my YouTube channel? I'm trying to make it to a thousand subscribers so that I can start being monetized for all the good content that I bring. Um, I talk about hair. I talk about, you know, all kinds of issues um, in life. I have a little fun and I hope to see you guys over there on my YouTube channel. So again, this is an easy recipe. I'm just following the instructions and I will see you guys in eight hours. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for stopping by and I will leave the link below, to, not the link, I will leave the recipe below and I will tell you how this tastes. God bless you and keep you. Oh, and I'll be back in a little bit with my husband and then again with my daughter. Talk to you later. Okay guys, we are back and here we go with the results of this barbecue slow cooked ribs. Fall off the bone, look at that, just break right apart. Look, just come right off the bone. That is some delicious barbecue. It did not cook for eight hours, guys. It cooked for four hours on, I turned it on high. I thought I needed to add a little bit more to it, but my family is like, that tastes so good. So you see all that little fatty juice on top. I'm gonna just get all that off of there. But there you have it, fall off the bone, slow cooker, baby back ribs.